Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. Market outlook time. Let's take a look at this week's Black Friday market outlook. It's a huge week in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Arguably one of the biggest weeks of the year with Black Friday coming up at the end of this week on Friday. Um, obviously, there's a lot of, you know, talking, a lot of stuff that we've done in preparation before this leading up to this point. And still this week, there's a lot of um, content that EA could drop or lack of content that EA could drop on the game that could possibly make the market move. So we're going to talk about that, talk about the content that dropped yesterday on Saturday uh, and then or on Sunday. And also look back last year at Black Friday at a few things that maybe were have been overlooked or, or something you can use to prepare for this week in foot. But again, it's a usual Sunday night and a lot of you guys are watching this video and it's late Sunday night, early Monday morning, and a lot of player prices are still going to be pretty low. Now, on Sunday today, um, I'm recording this a bit earlier than normal. I'm actually a, a couple hours before Squad Battle Rewards right now. Um, yeah, so what I saw today on the market, though, was a very, very interesting market movement. So a lot of panic selling came into the 6 p.m. UK time period because it seemed like uh, a lot of people were expecting that base icon SBC today. Now, since it did not come, a lot of stuff has since rebounded, right? Prime example was this Inform Zaha card. If we look, take a look at the flipping graph, uh, this guy was down, which he looks like that's an undercut right there. 210 for Zaha. He was uh, he was down to like 200,000 coins, like 205, 208 is I believe. I had a couple friends that bought him at 205 to 208. Uh, and see right now he's back to 220. Uh, so a lot of cards rebounded slightly because there was no content today. There was a lot of panic selling right before 6 p.m. And stuff has kind of since then rebounded back. Here's a perfect example of a guy that did this today, and that is Marcus Rashford. He was 223 this morning, went back down to 200K, and then went back up to 223. There was a lot of items that did this same movement today uh, and stuff that has kind of picked back up a little bit from where it was. Conte was 370, whereas he was 350 last night. He's 360 now. So some of these cards are still kind of dri uh, dipping down um, in... The, you know, it's it's a mixture of like sell-off and then of course people are starting to like buy some cards for their teams because a lot of people are thinking that this is again another low point, which I think is honestly not a, ter not a terrible time to invest. And I've been talking to you guys and saying, hey, if you see informs get really, really low, if it's an inform that is not going to be included in best of team of the week, I do not think that it's a bad time to buy. I think it's a very possible time to buy right now with some of these out of packs informs and out of packs um promo cards like some of these past team of the weeks right chucky lozano 135 that's almost as low as he was in packs this guy's again really hard to search on the market i just lazy sold one for 150 that i bought on stream this Llorente at 148 very popular card um it was 150 in packs went to 160 over the weekend is now even lower so a lot of this stuff is still pretty low a lot of informs are pretty low some stuff didn't drop as low as it did last week First example of that, and again, I could be wrong in three hours from now because the market's still kind of changing and, and moving, but Joe Gomez's inform last week was 370,000 coins, 375, uh, and right now he's still holding right around 400K. So some stuff hasn't dropped off as much as last week, and that's why it looked like last week might have been the buy for some cards, but some stuff is still really, really low. And uh, as we kind of think about like possibilities or opportunities that you guys might have to buy in and buy your teams, last weekend was one of them, right? We had low prices. This weekend, again, weekend league sell-off. We talked about this earlier this past week was another opportunity to get in. So there's probably going to be another scenario where maybe on Friday morning, we do have some panic. So if you don't feel comfortable buying this early, if a base icon SBC comes at some point this week, or uh, if there's reason to believe that there could be a lot of panic on Friday morning, which there probably will be a little bit of panic uh, on certain cards, then that's going to be another area or another time frame, I guess, uh, opportunity, you could say, where you might be able to snag up some cards and either buy them for your team or buy them as an investment. So my plan personally this week is going to be continue to trade because um, it's a holiday week here in the U.S., of course, Black Friday with Thanksgiving. And that means that I might have a little bit of extra time uh, on occasion to hop on the companion app, to hop on the console at times and, and do some, even if it's just lazy listing cards for a couple thousand coins over there by now, uh, it's it's profitable, right? This Quadrado I bought for 203, so that's a small flip there. I bought this at 135, sold at 150 to a lazy buyer. So a lot of these sales uh, I'm gonna be trying to make throughout this week. So I'm not gonna be investing or buying cards to put in my team 
even if they're out of packs in forms now. I'm going to be waiting throughout the rest of the week and trying to pick up on some panic on Friday. Or if a base icon SBC comes, that's going to be crazy for the market too. And you're going to see a lot of, of market movements, but it is a big week. And let's kind of start to talk through the week a little bit. Today is Monday, right? So Monday, last night we had squad battle rewards. The market's probably pushing up a little bit. Uh, it's probably still a little bit low on some areas though in the morning today on Monday because that's just how it works. But we have games. We have big time games. Now, first, before we talk about Champions League, let's talk about this Team of the Week SBC because a couple people were mentioning to me, this Team of the Week SBC is expiring today on Monday, I believe. And people are saying, yo, once this goes away, is it going to be replaced by anything? Some people think the base icon upgrade is going to get replaced here after this Team League SBC expires. And they think it's going to come out today. I guess that could happen. I really do not expect it to happen at all. I think that icon upgrade SBC was just in, put in the code by EA to cause some panic, to stir up some panic. And I actually don't think that they're going to be dropping that uh, during the week this week. Now, they could obviously do it. It's their game. They know what they're doing. Uh, I'm just here trying to predict it. But... Uh, I, I honestly don't feel like it's coming yet. I, I really don't. But if they wanted to, they, they have the power to do that. So I don't think that's coming today, but some people have been talking about that. So I wanted to clear that up in my opinion, uh, with my opinion put on it. Now we do have Champions League as well. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, we have Champions League games this week. A lot of road to the final cards have already started rising up out of packs. Of course, uh, Bibu is up from like 85k, Portu is up from like 140, Drax is from 50k to 20, Sissoko is up like almost 90,000 coins, Koulibaly is up a lot, Akanji is up 30k, Kessie is up 30k, so a lot of these cards from Team 2 and Team 1 are inflated a lot. Now, what do I feel with these cards coming into this week? Are people buying these cards right now because they're going to get upgraded in the near future? Not really. These cards still have a while before they're getting upgraded. I mean, we are in match week four match week six now obviously by match week four some of the cards that are you know teams that are sitting in their groups right that are sitting in first place like like Bayern, right like alfonso davies part of his price right now on the market part of this card being 575,000 coins is the fact that he is going to go to an 86 rated item like it's fact right they've basically secured a spot going into the next round other players though like um like that draxler for example which they're in group f is that right no which group is uh, Group H? Group H, that's right, with Leipzig and Man U. So PSG play against Leipzig this week, and all eyes are on PSG because they have to win this game if they want a shot at going uh, into the next round of Champions League, into the knockout stages. So that's going to affect some of these road to the final prices. If a team that is like right now looking like they're going to get in, like let's say, you know, and I'm not, I'm not hit, hating on Man U fans here, Rashford's a million coins. Man U is sitting on six points. Let's say for some reason, Man U lose their game because they're playing Istanbul. And that will mean if Man U lose and PSG win, everybody in this group is on six points. And the likelihood of Man U maybe going through is kind of looking, you know, maybe not as quality as it was before. Now, do I expect that to happen? No, but that's just a, a scenario. So if you want to take the no risk with these road to the final cards, a lot of them are up. If you want to take the no risk, uh, you could sell them before Black Friday. This is a, a type of the market where I would say you want to be watching this for panic selling at any point in the next two weeks before they get actually get upgraded from the group stage to the knockout stage for whoever cards continue to move on. Or if a team is likely not going to be moving on and they're in the if they're going to finish last in their group, which means they're not going to be become a Europa League road to the final and their card is just going to be no more. It's not going to be live. Those cards will drop off a decent amount. Um, so just kind of keep an eye out for those sorts of movements. We're going to start seeing those around Champions League games with these cards. So um, they're up a lot though. So a lot, if you invested in these, you're making coins. And that's why I'm saying watch the panic because these are rare. And they're up, they're live items and a lot of people want to get interested in them. So we do have UCL games this week, which could mean again, UCL marquee matchups, tradable pack supply coming onto the game. That would be on Tuesday, I believe, if that was to be the case. Um, I would expect some other sort of kind of filler content this week in the middle of the week. Now, on Sunday, yesterday, we had some filler objective content, basically two days in a row with objective content in FIFA because Saturday we had the Premier League League player with um, Bellerin. And then today we had the milestone, I believe it's a milestone, yeah, EFL Squad Championships, um, EFL Championship Squad Foundations with Josh King, with Dak, and with... Um, 
Dak and Sinclair. And a lot of people are looking at this Sinclair card because they think it looks like Ryan Kent, but it's not upgradable, right? Road to the final Ryan Kent was good. He was just OP in his own right. But part of that was just because it's Ryan Kent and uh, he was a live upgradable item too. And then, of course, when EA upgraded all those cards that were still in the competition with the whole uh, coronavirus issue earlier in the year, that was just made his card even more OP. But just be uh, just be wary, I guess, of the UCL pack supply. That could be an opportunity for maybe some more supply. Now, one thing that I've been doing a lot of, a lot of people have been calling this trading method Tech Avion. And I don't necessarily think it's true Tech Avion, what we used to call it. But what I, what I said earlier in the video with lazy listing, right? I bought this St. Maximin at 15,000 coins today. It's a, it's a weekly sell-off day. And these cards are still, I'm still getting sales on these cards two to 3,000 coins over the buy price because of the glitchy issues with the transfer market on the game. Since there's a lot of glitch issues and a lot of stuff like that, um, you can buy, I bought this Gabriel Jesus at 15.5, sold it at 18.250. I've got a lot of Musa Dem, or Usman Dembele's, some Gabriel Jesus, some Alan St. Maximin. These are just all lower rated cards that you can honestly buy with a good chem style at their lowest buy it now price on the market, uh, especially if they take a little dip because of pack supply and then relist them for two to three, 4,000 coins higher, depending on, how, on what the price is. And you'll get sales, right? I did this on a Friday night and I was getting three to four sales an hour on Gabriel Jesus cards with hunters or position change to center attacking mid three to 4k over his buy now price. I was getting like half of my cars that I had bought were selling every hour. So that's just kind of something to look at too. You can do throughout the week this week. Um, but again, for content this week, it's again, a pretty much a question mark, right? It just depends on what EA wants to do with this game because uh, we do have Champions League. So we haven't seen that one Champions League SBC item card come out yet. That's something we're kind of waiting on and expecting. Um, but I, basically from Wednesday until Friday, I would expect a loading screen from EA Sports. Last year, uh, there was a loading screen uh, the day before. It just said Black Friday. They, they said tomorrow through Sunday and they showed a little loading screen that, that was Black Friday. So we also got a player moments um, card design that came out last year and that caused some panic. Uh, but I did say I want to talk about what happened last year on Friday. And we're going to look a lot closer at this later in the week this week as more of Black Friday preparation. But if you have any cards that could be considered for this squad this year best of team of the week these are the best the best team league cards in the game that ea put out last year uh messi ronaldo de bruyne hazard Lewandowski, and mbappe big names right big big names in best of team of the week this year we do not have an mbappe inform ronaldo might get an inform this week we have a messi we don't have a hazard we don't have a de bruyne we do have a lewa uh so best of team of the week this year could look a lot different and Notice that they put in Ben Yedder last year. There were other informs higher rated than Ben Yedder. Um, but since they put this card in last year, I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but I'm just saying that I think this Renato Sanchez, even though it's so hyped, I don't think it's very likely, but I think there's a possibility they could put in a Renato Sanchez or possibly Alan St. Maximin in best of team of the week, just because they're so very hyped up. And if that would sell packs... EA would do it. If that would sell packs, EA would definitely put those cards back into packs. So if you have any items like we, we talked about before that could be in best of team of the week, like Rashford's inform would be a number one candidate for me that would be in best of team of the week. His price is dropping, but for good measure, right? Because people are panic selling him or listing him up and taking the coins before his price could go lower. But a lot of cards that are in this week's current team of the week, um, team of the week number eight with Mane with Conte. Those are both players that I think should get in best of the team of the week. Insigne has an outside shot, probably doesn't get in though. And then of course you have other guards that we've talked about and mentioned before, like Messi, Bruno Fernandez could get in for sure. Um, who else could get in here? There's a couple other ones. Of course, Rashford, yes. Possibly Ramos, maybe, maybe not quite. Lewandowski, yes, maybe. Um, so Ben Yedder again this year, possibly. So just be careful if you have any of those really high level, high rated and very hyped informs because they could get re-released and that could cause a lot of market panic. But again, I mentioned like the, the lazy listing or tech avion method as something you could do this week to make coins if you wanted to. Honestly, what I would watch this week though is just watch the panic selling on informs, watch the fluctuations, rule breaker cards as well. And there's, there's going to be ways 
to make coins this week on just fluctuations, right? Because um, these cards, they move around all the time, especially with weekly sell-off and especially with some of the stuff being low right now. People are just accustomed to buying stuff on Sunday nights and selling later in the week. So as long as we don't have any crazy content, I mean, this guy, um, Lukaku, he's like, what, 350 right now? I think I saw in Footbin. That might have been an undercut. But a card like this, 355 for Lukaku, he's like 370, 380 at, at different points during the day. I might have to buy this for a fluctuation, honestly. 355. Um, would I be able to flip this at 370, 380? I feel like I want to see like 345 just to help cover my tax a little bit more. Um, 380 might be too high on a Sunday night, but it looks like Lukaku hit 360s, hit 347 once a day, and then he went to 374. So if I saw this at like the low 340s, like another 10K down, I would get interested. And this is the kind of flipping that you can do almost all the time. Same thing with icons, right? Icons are really low with the weekend link sell off. Definitely, definitely, definitely look at those cards if you're looking to buy one for your team or even just to trade with. Um, people are kind of scared to like invest in those right now because they obviously think they're going to go down with pack supply and everybody's just waiting to buy their teams until Black Friday does come out. So that's kind of like the aura that I feel on the market right now. It's just a lot of waiting. And speaking of icons, if we take a look at index icon, we were up at 102 points earlier this morning. We're down to 99. So a lot of this stuff is dropping, especially some of the babies are down a lot. So definitely keep an eye on some of these cards. Even like baby Schweinsteiger would be a card. I feel like most people would still want to buy up after Black Friday. Um, even Javi, his, his item right there, like these are all popular cards that people are going to want to use once they get more coins from the Black Friday promo. So the market outlook for this week, boys, is honestly uh, prices staying pretty low still, probably rebounding a little bit into the end of the week this week. Some Champions League content that could shake up the market a little bit. And then SBC fodder again, it's going to fluctuate all over the place. Some people are thinking we might have like little mini crashes every day heading into 6 p.m. UK because people think that the base icon is going to come out on that day. So if that is the true truth, I guess it could happen. Is it likely? I don't know. I feel like the base icon might come next Friday or this Friday or on Saturday, the day after. So we're just going to be careful with it. We're going to see what happens. It's going to be a fun week of FIFA, boys. A lot of content probably upcoming. And we're going to cover Black Friday content and what happened last year, how that could play out this year towards the end of the week for sure so probably or definitely get ready for a lot of black friday related videos we're going to take a really close look at the market this week because we want to make sure that we get the moves correct we want to be ready for the panic that could come on friday and throughout the week this week if there is base icon sbc stuff going on so if you enjoyed this video smash your thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new that's the market outlook for this week if you guys enjoyed it again do those things I just mentioned. I just repeated myself. But it's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.